Hello and welcome to Cooking English. Today's recipe is spaghetti carbonara and you can find the recipe at cookingenglish.co.uk. This recipe serves six people and it's my brother's adaptation of the Italian classic carbonara and it's him you'll see actually cooking this recipe. So for the ingredients what you need is dried spaghetti, five cloves of garlic, bacon cut into cubes, fresh mint, parmesan cheese, single cream, two eggs, olive oil, salt and pepper. So you need to first peel the garlic and the easiest way to do it is to cut off the base and smash it with a knife but you have to be very very careful. You can see if you do this properly it's really easy just to peel off the skin in one and make sure you do it to all five cloves of garlic and then just set those to one side and next you need to prepare the cream mixture by pouring it into a bowl So to the cream you need to add some fresh eggs and the fresher the better. You can tell that they're fresh because the yolks look very very orange. And then give that a good whisk with some ground black pepper. Now I didn't used to like spaghetti carbonara very much when I was growing up and I think that's because uh, we were very used to the kind of 1980s version which was very greasy. This one is not greasy at all. You don't want to whisk it too much, you just want to make sure that the eggs and the cream are mixed together enough. You don't want bubbles in it like double cream. And chop up the um, mint nice and finely. You can see that my brother's got good knife skills here but if it takes you longer than that it really doesn't matter. Always be careful of your fingers. Oh, and be careful not to cut yourself. And then make sure you chop up the garlic Again, you could use a garlic press to do this. You don't have to use a knife. And you're looking for fine pieces of garlic, not slices. Now, my brother's already chopped up the bacon, which you can see is at the back. You can use scissors to do this instead of a knife. and then you want to grate the parmesan cheese you can see that this grater has very fine holes in it that creates a nice fine uh, parmesan cheese and you can buy it ready grated from the supermarket but that's quite dry and um, so the fresher the better again Okay, and then you can actually start with the cooking. So put on a large pan of water and when it's boiling, that's when you put the dried spaghetti in. And to that you can add some salt just to make sure it's seasoned. Meanwhile, get a nice heavy pan and add some oil. Put it on a medium heat and you can check that it's hot enough by adding one piece of bacon and as soon as that starts to sizzle that's when you can add the rest. And you don't want to mix it around too much because you want the bacon to get a good colour without going black. 
mix it around for a little while and leave it for two minutes or until it's starting to go brown and that's when you can add the garlic to it. You can see that's sizzling away nicely. Again, be careful of your fingers. And you want to stir this around and when the garlic is cooked but not black that's when you know it's ready and you want to put it to one side but make sure that you leave the oil in the pan so you can see he's got a lovely display bowl here and he's adding the bacon and garlic mixture to it smells so good I love the smell of cooking garlic look beautiful right so the pasta should be more or less ready by now al dente which means it still has a bite and when you're happy that it's ready very carefully drain it and then add it back to the pan which still contains the oil and that's on a low heat and coat the spaghetti in the oil you don't want to cook the spaghetti too much more but you want to make sure it's still hot and to that you add the cream and the egg and the pepper mixture and basically you're just cooking that out so then you add the bacon and the garlic and Andy's using tongs here to mix it around so that the spaghetti doesn't break and you can see that the egg and cream mixture is starting to cook if you look at the pan and he's just making sure every strand of spaghetti is covered with that mixture and he's adding lots of that parmesan cheese it's going to go all gooey and delicious and you know when it's cooked because the egg will have gone almost like scrambled egg and there's no liquid left in the pan so it's more or less ready give it a good stir and then you just want to whack it in a bowl come on whack it in a bowl here we go you can see my foot's in the background I was watching closely it's gone and then to that you just need to add the chopped uh, mint nicely done and there you have it the finished spaghetti carbonara serve it with salads some bread and enjoy! Mm -hmm.